Hello, everybody. Welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. Uh, today's date is Sunday, February 14, 2016, Valentine's Day. Our discussion today is going to be, be about bullies. Now, there were only a few verses in this that I found. So let's go, let's go to, uh, think about it. In the book of 1 Samuel, there was a giant by the name of Goliath who was a bully. That because he was so big and everything, he taunted the Israelites to the point where they were very afraid of him. Even Saul, who was stood higher and taller than most of the Israelites, was afraid. But what happened is there was a young boy by the name of David. And David knew that God would fight this battle for him. So what ended up happening, when the, when the giant charged, David charged back. He was slinging his sling with one smooth stone. And that smooth stone, when he released it, hit Goliath between the eyes and killed him, or took him down, and, and ended up killing him instantly. He ended up taking off Goliath's head and sending it to the king. In Isaiah 29, 20 and 21, bullies will vanish and scoffers will cease. And all those plotting evil will be killed. The violent man who fights at the drop of a hat, the man who waits in hiding to beat up the judge who sentenced him, and the men who use any excuse to be unfair also will, this will stop. Now as you know, Goliath was killed by the boy King David with a smooth stone and a sling. Some of us still have bullies and may have been bullied by others bigger than us for no reason, just like Goliath ended up bullying and teasing the Israelites. When you fight a bully, they will usually stop, vanish, and cease. Sometimes you may have to be patient and wait the bullying to stop. Let God fight the battle as he did for David and defeat your bullies for you. So, brothers and sisters, we just need to let God fight these battles for us. It's senseless to sit there and try and go up against somebody that um, is always tormenting us and then us getting the brunt end of it. So put it in God's hand. I want to thank you Today is Sunday. I hope you enjoy your day of worship, and God bless.